Hey, welcome back, Birdie Bunch. So, today is just a topic I've been wanting to talk about. And it's about the dating world, the dating scene. It's been such a long time since I've been on a date. Haven't been in a relationship in five years. In about five years. So, anyway, um, a couple of things reminded me today. But the other day, um, now I talked to my kids. They're not kids really anymore they're really not kids how old are y'all now 21 21 and 24 but anyways when they were teenagers i still i still you know talk to them because they need to know the foolishness that's going on but it was a facebook thread and this there was talking about relationship I, I, i forgot what the topic exactly was but this guy was on the thread talking about He's not even going to buy a woman a cup of coffee. I said, what? And see, I was the type of person, like, when I was really young, when I was with their dad, you know, I bas- I paid for myself. I paid for myself, he paid for himself, whatever. But that turned into something totally different. That It ended up me being paying for everything, basically. But anywho... The man said he's not even going to buy the lady a cup of coffee. And then, of course, you know, the ladies jumped on him and said, if you broke, just say that. That's what my daughter said. If you broke, just say that. Um, And then I was watching For It's Rocks on YouTube this morning, and she was talking about Summer Walker's music. Um, I haven't heard the new music, and she was just saying about young people and relationships, about how she feels so sad for the young people today. And I commented, I said, I feel, it's a bunch of, she said, it's a bunch of BS. She said it all the way. Um, with the young people in their dating world, I said, it's a bunch of BS at any age. Um, she's married, so she don't know. But at any age, um, these guys my age, not all. So I know some guys are going to get upset. And um, they say a hit dog will holler. So I'm just going to assume if you upset that you are the dog. But anyway, so she was saying, you know, and I'm like, I just don't understand. These men my age, they act like men in their 20s. I think men in their 20s act better. I'm not sure. Do they age? No. No? That's sad. I mean, I'm I'm not 21. So then my son always says, it's not, we know we're not talking about you. Like I, I said, uh, you're not a hit dog. So you don't have to holler. But um, it is sad. It just makes you feel hopeless. Uh, especially what, you know, the men are saying, uh, and a lot of men commented on that thread about how they're not paying for nothing. They're not paying for dinner. Dana, I said, who, what lady hurt you? Which is what I'm assuming. I got two theories on that. I'm assuming that a lady hurt them really bad. That they maybe they ended up paying the lady rent, whatever. They paid for all her stuff and she just rolled out or she got with some other dude. I'm assuming that's probably what happened to these dudes. Um, it just seems like the wrong people get mis- mixed match, mismatched yeah. up together. And then the next person always takes the downfall for it. Um, and then the other side I had to that was, um, a lot of these men are getting raised by single mamas and we doing the best we can and they don't have a father figure. They don't have no men to show them what to do. So, so I'm saying in a nice word, baby fight, which a lot of people would say the P word, um, babies, you know. And sometimes I kind of felt like uh, I was harder on my daughter than my son. So we do that. I don't know why. You did? Yeah, I think so. I really don't think I was hard on y'all at all. Really? Uh, I barely told y'all no about things, you know. Uh, Y'all was good kids. Y'all good kids. But it just seems like the the girl child gets... I don't know. 
has more responsibility than the boy child. I don't yeah. know. Um, and tend to, you know, she would tell me things like, he could do it. He could do this. He could do that. He could do it. And like, uh, yeah, so that's true. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, with the men of today. It is very sad. But when I saw that man say he wouldn't pay, he said, I wouldn't even pay for a cup of coffee. <laughs> what? He's just lazy. You can't pay for a cup of coffee? What is dinner going to do? Uh, they say they're not buying dinner. They're not going to buy dinner for somebody that's just going to be a gold digger just to get a free meal. Excuse me? That don't always be the case. Excuse me? What's that age? Well, y'all should know what type of girl y'all dealing with beforehand. <laughs> they should. Maybe they don't know. I mean, I mean that's, see, that's another topic. Like, how do you know? Like, people, they would say, oh, don't be mad because your baby father, you picked him. Um, he did not appear that way in the beginning. Trust me. Well, thank you. Oh, I just say, uh, they don't put out the seat for a woman anymore. I never see that. I've never seen a man uh, kiss a woman's hand no more. Yeah. You hardly ever see anybody open doors for anybody anymore. Yeah. Um, it's just really, really sad. And um, I just want to make, a, make another side comment that doesn't really have anything to do with this. Um, I've had several people say I look tired. Um, yeah, I am. Um, you guys just don't know what's going on. You know, some of what's going on when I told you about the medical issue that I'm dealing with. But, yeah, I think um, maybe you're saying it out of concern. That's fine. But I don't think that's very nice to say. To somebody, oh, you look tired. I mean, come on now. But anyway, yeah. You want to add on to anything, Adrian? We talked about this a long time, y'all. I just felt so discouraged. Like I said, I'm, I don't feel discouraged. Why not? I mean, I don't want y'all to feel discouraged because y'all are still young. Like, mm-hmm. I actually turned 21, too. <laughs> well, you know, when I was young, I was in this whole fairy tale ish. Yeah. You know, I wish we were mind readers. Well, you know, I was in this whole fairy tale thing. You know, I think a lot of us are. You know, we raised up with the Barbie dolls and this, that, and the other. But, um, and we didn't have a lot of realness back then as we do now. Google, man, I would have found out a lot on Google back then. Um, and the, and the technology that uh, we have now, I think that messed a lot of relationships up. Yeah, Facebook, it does. Um, especially uh, with their father, he when he started getting Facebook, that was it. Hmm. I think it was back before that AOL um, chat or yeah. something. So that technology really messed messed us up. But then again, if a person going to cheat, they gonna cheat, I guess. So. They say the grandpas back in the day, they cheated, but, you know, grandma didn't leave. The grandmas didn't leave them, but um, I don't know, y'all. Then they say the women today are so independent, and you probably do have a lot of uh, women that are ball busters, as they call them, you know, but um, it is, you know, you just, yeah, I think when you go and meet somebody, you have to treat it as a fresh slate. You yes. can't just be thinking about what happened with the, the last lady or the last man. And um, just say what you want up front. I wish a lot of people would do that. If you yeah. just say you want the booty, just say you want the booty. Just that way, that. that way, I know I can just roll out. Right. I mean, I and then if I was the type of person that wanted the booty, okay, then. Let's do it. Exactly. Why <laughs> all this beating around the bush? Oh, we go to date. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And I understand that. Let's try to put keep it to yourself. I mean, what men had to say. Men, nobody's going to say that. I know. You know, I don't think anybody's going to come out and say that, but they should. Mm-hmm. Instead of wasting everybody's time. That's the hurtful part. The wasted time. Yeah, that's really like, the, I hate wasting time. Yeah. I was with y'all's daddy for what, 20, 20 years? That's wasted time. Mm-hmm. Thinking a one sided relationship, thinking I'm pulling the one, I'm pulling that, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be in a relationship on my own, basically. Mm-hmm. I was in a relationship. He wasn't. That's a Libra thing. So, so, you know, wasted time hurts because you don't want to 
I didn't want to throw that relationship away. I didn't want to be with somebody that wasn't my children's father. I wanted my kids to have, you know, same mom, same dad. You know, I was in that fairy tale mindset. And that's what kept me in that for so long um, with no marriage or anything like that. So, and I was totally against that. I said, I would never have kids without being married. So, in lo- so in love with that fool. Engage, whatever. You know, a ring, you know, that like, a ring is just like a pacifier. He just gave me that to shut me up. Oh, okay. I mean, marriage can be scary. He gave it. I mean, it can be, but that's what these some of these men are doing, giving rings to shut the girl up. Oh, we engaged. Well, y'all engaged for 15 years. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that it is. It was me. That was me. If I was in a situation, I'd be nervous to talk anyway. And then I would have customers always ask me, "When you get married? When you get married? When you get married?" Will y'all stop asking me that? It was so hurtful. Yeah. Very very hurtful. But I like y'all to comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. Um, some of you guys that are married, obviously. You you don't know what's going on in the dating world, but it's horrendous. Yeah. It's horrendous. And now they're saying they got this new STD out. I forgot what it's called. I think it starts with a D. It's like a flesh-eating type of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all, it's just... And like my mom always says, she always says, you know, you'll just meet somebody when you're not expecting it. Of course, you don't want to hear that. Um, she told me to stay off them date naps, so I'm going to do that. Um Cause it's it's just, and I can tell. So that that's the good gift about it. I can tell when somebody's not right. Yeah. So I can usually pick up on that now, very very quickly. So, anybody else want to say anything? I mean, I know it's best to be. I mean, you can't trust anybody. I mean, you I mean, you gotta have your. I didn't mean that. You gotta have a little bit of guard up. You yeah. can't just give away your trust to you. Really, you know, you think you know somebody. Yeah. So, um, yeah, y'all, if you broke, just say that. That's what my daughter say. If you broke, just say that. I mean, you can't buy a $2, $3, $4, $5 $5 cup of coffee on a meet and greet. On a meet and greet. He said, I'm not even buying a coffee. And this man wasn't white. He was not black. Now, it doesn't matter. But people, you know, get stereotypes in their head. He was a mid mid eastern to sit, and um, yeah, he's not even gonna buy the girl a cup of coffee. Yeah, if I was in waitress, I would be honest too. I Good. Don't have don't everybody have, should be honest. Don't have much money. Sorry. Well, yeah, well that's different. Like yeah. I said, if everybody's honest, that's the best. Honesty is the best yeah, policy. No, 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 it's no, no. cliche, I'll, I'll pay, I'll pay for you. but uh, it is the best policy, y'all. Well, thanks for listening to my rant. Um, I think that's all I had to say about it. Like I said, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> we talk about, man, we get deep over here sometimes. We get deep. We be battling sometimes. Don't we, age? Yeah. Huh? yeah. But not really. No, because you think I'm a dude. That's good. <laughs> that's her protection. She thinks, like, like Steve Harvey said, she didn't even read the book, did you? No. Act like a lady, think like a man. Yeah. She thinks. That's because I'm always like around guys. Yeah, so I guess her dad be, would have, yeah. yeah, so. Good for that. Yeah, 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 that's good. You know game. I love it. Right, thank you. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I really do. That's excellent. I'm going to say you're a dude. That's a compliment. Thank you. Sure. Hey, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.